So the lab is primarily interested in understanding how cells move. Um, we're particularly interested in how cancer cells move. And the reason why that is important is that although primary tumor growth is something that a lot of therapeutics are targeted against, the single most important or fatal step in cancer progression is actually the ability of cancer cells to migrate away from the primary tumor to invade the surrounding tissue and then get into the bloodstream where they're circulated throughout the body and then they form secondary tumors at remote organs called metastases. And it's those secondary metastases that are the primary reason why there are so many fatalities from cancer. So we, if we can understand the cell migration process that is involved in those tumor cells moving away from the primary tumor, then we may be able to uh, identify therapeutic targets in the future. When I first started working on cell adhesion and cell migration when I was a postdoctoral fellow in, in Dr. Keith Burridge's lab down in Chapel Hill in the late 80s, um, we were really just simply trying to understand how a cell attaches to its surroundings and how it forms a physical link to the actin cytoskeleton within the cell. And at the time there were only four proteins that had been identified at these sites of cell attachment. And I identified the fifth member, Paxillin, uh, while I was in Keith Burridge's lab. And now there are over 200 proteins that have been identified that localize to these sites of cell adhesion. A lot of the work that we've done up to this point has been utilizing two-dimensional tissue culture systems. And those are very amenable to studying the molecular interactions that are, um, we've been examining to try to understand the basic mechanisms by which Paxillin functions. More importantly, we've now begun to move into three-dimensional matrix model systems that allow us to study cell migration in an environment that more readily recapitulates what is happening within the body. And then in doing that, we could potentially identify key regions on these molecules that interact with other proteins and use that as a, as, as a starting point for perturbing the process or blocking the process. The work that we do in the lab may be directly applicable to uh, research that is being done in other areas, especially on campus. For instance, cell migration is important for neuronal cell migration during brain development. It's probably also important during spinal cord regeneration. And so the studies that we are doing may be able to help those investigators too.